Africa is indescribably beautiful. It has waterfalls, mountains, big open plains. Well, you, you can describe it. It's home to the world's most majestic animals and wits who hunt them. Illegal animal poaching violates all sorts of international laws and it's driving elephants and rhinos towards extinction. Thousands are killed every year for their horns and tusks. So I've come to this remote part of Africa to meet the people fighting to save these animals. Damien Manda is an ex-Australian commando and the founder of the International Anti-Poaching Foundation. Poaching is illegally coming in and, and, and taking an animal or killing an animal. We've come across a rhino and elephant that their face is hacked off. What do they cut the horn off with? They'll carry an axe. Yeah. Just an axe? Been targeted by Asian, Asian syndicates uh, for their horn, their tusk. Why do the Asians like the uh, horns? They use it traditional medicine. Right. Uh, some people say it's an aphrodisiac, make you snorkel a bit bigger. But it hasn't been working if the rumours are true. <laughs> I mean, what's your background? I was with the Army Special Operations. Uh, I was a sniper there. Did 12 tours in Iraq. 12 seems like a lot. Yeah. Special Forces do loads of tours in the Middle East. Then after years of combat, they're told to just switch it off. There's not too many uh, jobs for a sniper in the local newspaper when you get back home. <laughs> Ended up just, you know, face down in a bloody plate of coke and, and a bottle of tequila in, in South America for this a year. This thing's worked out pretty good. Yeah, no, nah, mate, sort of hit rock bottom. And this is where some very large emotional support animals come in. I found a camel helps me cope day to day. But wild animals change Damien's life. And now he's using his military expertise to protect animals in Zimbabwe and beyond. But what sets Damien apart is the way he recruits rangers. We shifted our operations about two years ago and started employing exclusively women from the local, uh, local community. It's a big shift in mindset for me. I come from the Ultimate Boys Club, Special Operations. Right. We not only prided ourselves on being all, all male, we ridiculed other units that transitioned to accept them. I hear that. I sat down with two rangers from Damien's crew. What do you think makes a good ranger? Women have got a motherly heart. It's caring. Yeah. yeah. For many of these women, being a ranger is the first paying job they've ever had. And to the surprise of absolutely no one, local men were not too happy for them. Because just like late night TV hosts, field ranger is a job that almost always goes to a man. Have you felt pushback from your community? Men. They will just say, you cannot do this job. This is just a matter of wasting time. Have you had any pushback? Oh, yeah, we have. But there's something refreshing about just not giving a f what, what other people think. Yeah, it's the best. I don't care is the strongest sentence in the human language. You've got to f mean it, though. You've got to mean it. <laughs> 